This is Nick Satie, Chief Executive Officer and Founder of Adaptly, straight off the stage of IAB Innovation Days at Internet Week. Describe Adaptly and what problem it solves in the marketplace. Yeah, so Adaptly is the easiest way to advertise across the social web. We essentially enable agencies and brands to efficiently and at scale buy across social. And by social, we mean Facebook, LinkedIn, StumbleUpon, AdMob, Twitter, all these basic platforms that have segregated themselves from the big ad networks and exchanges and kind of have built their own platforms and their own fragmented media. So we basically abstract all of that so an agency can buy it at a very simple sort of manner. Straight into a question I was going to ask you later, because you talked about fragmentation. How do you balance that with brand building? How are you helping advertisers build brands? Sure. So we view these individual components. So for example, you know, because Facebook built their own platform, because Twitter built their own platform, because LinkedIn built their own platform, their actual creative and the actual process that they use to engage brands with their users is totally different from the next guy. So we view this fragmentation as a good fragmentation, not a bad fragmentation, right? The problem that it poses now is from the, from the consumer side, it's great, right? Because it's very easy to understand this keyword called alignment, where the brand message and the, pers the reason why somebody's on the site in the first place is aligned. From the actual buyer point of view now, it's the biggest nightmare you could ever imagine because now I have hundreds of millions of users bubbled into each of these different platforms all over the world and now have completely different processes to buy and completely different ad creative. So from an operational point of view, this is where Adaptly kind of serves its purpose by serving as this layer of technology that sits in between the platform, the fragmented platform, and the buyer allowing them to buy it in a very scalable fashion as they would any other medium. Great. Um, what do you think social plays in the future of display? It's, a, it's an interesting point. I think uh, social really serves as the evolution of display by taking all the important characteristics of display and combining it again with this idea of alignment. Right? This, this idea that there's individual actions that exist on each of these sites. For example, you can fan a brand, you can follow a brand, you can talk to a brand. It's a two-way street. Those individual actions are now surfacing into the ad creative, into the ad unit itself to allow for a much more bi-directional message. Traditional display today serves as a very unidirectional version, and we see this sort of fragmentation go dumbing down into the whole ecosystem and uh, providing a much, much more interactive layer of, of appeal for their customers. Beyond social, looking ahead, say, a year from now, what do you think is going to be a new function or format of display advertising that really takes the stage? I think there's not going to be one. I think there's going to be millions of different formats. I think the beauty of it you also have to remember is because as all of this innovation bubbles throughout the U.S. market, it also overflows globally. There's a lot of individual interesting platforms that exist at a global scale that are basically duplicates from a consumer experience perspective of Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter, all the big networks that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Not only have they duplicated the consumer approach, but they've now also duplicated the international monetization approach. And with that, you end up with very, very unique ad units that surface whatever that site was meant for. And you end up with millions of different units. And that's what we want. This is good fragmentation. This is not bad fragmentation. And I understand you recently moved to New York City, and we're here today for Internet Week. Um, why'd you move to the big city? So we originally started uh, the company about a year ago in Chicago. Um, three months later, moved to Philly. Three months later, moved back to San Francisco, where I grew up, thinking you know, we were a tech company, we were a startup, et cetera. I was flying to meet Madison Ave every other week in New York. And it just became a very logistical nightmare. All the customers are here. The whole ad world is here. This is why Internet Week is here. This is why the IAB conference is here. This is why ad tech happens here. This is a very important place to be when building a media business. Great. Thank you very much.